Hey folks, what's up? How's it going? It's Ryan here. Today we're gonna make some Korean fried cauliflower. Cauliflower is such an underappreciated vegetable. I love it so much. When I was a child, I was a picky eater and I feel sad for those years that I did not witness the cauliflower because it's truly exceptional. We're gonna take a spin on a Korean classic, Korean fried chicken and cauliflower wings. If you've never had them, go have them. Let's get started. Let's look at our ingredients. What are we doing? Because I know Joe loves cauliflower wings so much, got two heads of cauliflower, so we're gonna make a bunch. We've got our two types of flours here. We got white rice flour, we've got some sweet potato starch. We're gonna mix those together, that's gonna be our dredge. Peanuts, we're gonna toast up for garnish. Got some cilantro, a bunch of sauces. This is for the sauce. Got some gochujang over here, that's for a little bit of kick. And we have a sous vide bath going because we're gonna quickly marinate our cauliflower. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our marinade. We're gonna take some sake, some mirin, some soy sauce, Two of these cloves of garlic, a slice of ginger, as well as just a small touch of brown sugar. And we're gonna bring this all to a boil to cook off the alcohol. And once it's come to a boil, I'm just gonna set it aside. It's time to cut it up. Now let's just take a knife and just split it. This way you can kind of see what pieces are gonna come out and give you nice little wings like that. This is a good size. We got our cauliflowers. Without losing half of it before, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of olive oil just to fill some gaps. So we needed a bigger sous vide just because this is a lot more cauliflower than I thought I was gonna be doing today. So we have it at 82 because that's the temperature that most vegetables start to break down their cellulose. By dropping this in there for about, I don't know, five minutes, we're just gonna hopefully break down that outer layer, just a touch, and when it's time to cool it down, we're gonna throw it in a cold water bath. I don't have any ice, so I'm making do. I really should get some ice. The idea is that all of this kind of marinade will go right into the cauliflower and go deeper quicker. And let's cool it down. We're gonna make our dredge next in roughly equal parts. I'm just gonna sift my sweet potato starch because sometimes you get really clumpy pieces. And you just mix it up with a fork. So we're gonna start with a bit of oil in our pan. We're gonna saute up this garlic and ginger I just minced. Just a nice little sweat going. We're gonna add in our rice syrup. Soy sauce. Some gochujang. Some brown sugar. A little bit of white vinegar. Now we're just gonna reduce it down to the right consistency because we added all these liquidy stuffs. Let's open up this cauliflower and drain off any excess liquid. So we're hitting about 200 degrees Celsius, roughly 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That means we're ready to start our frying. And because this is just a shallow pot, we wanna kinda of do this pretty like quickly with the cauliflower. We don't wanna overheat the pan at all, so we're just gonna do a little bit at a time. And we're just going until crispy. We don't really need to worry about getting it cooked all the way through because it's already cooked. Grab a bowl, some of our cauliflower, some of the sauce. Go onto a plate. Garnish with peanuts and some fresh cilantro. And look at that. A meal fit for a king. Alrighty, let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh. The cilantro with the peanuts and the sauce, delicious. I do think that you shouldn't sous vide it because cauliflower cooks so easily anyways, but I was trying to get that marinade in there and the flavor is bomb. Marinate your cauliflower, but don't expedite your marinade. Do things properly, take the time you need to take. This though is, is wild. And that is Korean fried cauliflower. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time. All right, peace.